Good morning, everybody. It's our sizzle and pudding coming at you from Lake Ida today. Just threw my Phi Tech cast net, put in behind the camera, by the way. And we are a Florida fishing couple here in South Florida. And again, we just threw the net and just loaded up on some bait. Heck yeah, that's the way you start a morning. Fresh pancakes for breakfast. That's what you call, oh no. <laughs> it's really bad, these things die quickly, so you gotta get them right in the water. They can't go on the water, ah! <laughs> you goof. Sorry! Crap, that was bad. <laughs> oh. All right, so we got the bait, that's what counts. Those are shad, uh, American shad, I believe. Just threw again a 10-foot Phytech cast net. Got them perfectly, that's quite a few dozen right there. And today, again, we're on Lake Ida. We're exotic fishing. We're going after clown knife fish, uh, peacock bass, alligator gar, even though they're not exotics. What else, clown knife fish, a lot of good stuff around here. Cichlids, <laughs> yeah. I know I just said that again. So, uh, the sunshine bass. Sunshine bass, all kinds of cool stuff to catch here. Uh, we got bait at the tackle shop, but then we also loaded up on fresh bait, so. Nice way to start the day, marking a ton of bait again. Holy cow. And let's go get some fish. On. Finally. All right, so started fishing the live bait I just caught. Ooh, I just had a nice largemouth bass jump. Really cool. And uh, had a couple bites, but did not connect and just connected. First fish of the day coming in. Brian had a couple blow ups on his top water. He's actually throwing like a popper on top. And I got a peacock bass. Nice. nice. Get them in. Woo. <laughs> These are one. Peacock and the boat. Awesome. Come on, buddy. Cooperate. All right. There is that beautiful peacock bass. That's a female. And she swallowed the hook. It's actually sticking out right out of her stomach. And this is a cool trick. Yeah, I'll teach you something today. But go in underneath their gill plates and keep that line taut. And you can just pull this hook right out. Just get it in a little close. Got the hook. And then twist and pull it right out of their stomach. Ow! Oh, sorry. <laughs> and then it goes right into me. Yeah. All right, okay. then just pulled it right out. There we go. Beautiful fish. And let's let her go. No, it's a fish. Woohoo! Woohoo! Hooked up on the second fish, y'all. A little bigger than the last. Nice. Ooh, not happy. Did you flip them? Yeah. Okay. Not happy. Nice. Another peacock bass. Ooh. There he is. Awesome. Just had a couple turtles eat my baits, so they're a little frustrating. Uh, but sure enough, finally got a fish. We just made moved locations. But right here, Lake Ida and Delray Beach is really just an epic place to catch all kinds of fish. And this is like a, a destination for people to come to catch exotics. These fish are gonna tear up my fingers today. I'm gonna have bass thumb officially. Oh! <laughs> little baby. This thing got me so good already. I landed her so quick. Circle hook right in the corner. We're using really light circle hooks, really small J hooks as well, just the variety. That's what we used right there. And that fish is dark. Shows us way back in the lake water here. River water, I guess. But uh, really nice, about the same size as that first one. So let's let him go. He gone. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I just got his camera bucket wet. <laughs> it's fresh water today. Yeah, but still, it's water. <laughs> Dude, I took the floats off. I got a bite. Oh. Just relined it. Grab it, Pudding. <laughs> Grab it. It's shown. Nice. Dude, it's pulling. I got no Can drag, we, but it's okay. Woo. Net, net, net. Get in there. I got no drag, but go ahead. What you got? I don't know. Fish. It's going all over the place. Not a turtle. <laughs> no, it's not a turtle. It's a pea. Nice. No, one. it's a little. Oh, it's a, this big one. Big it's one. A little one. No, it's a little one. Big one. Big one. No, it's a little one. Oh, we got side hooked. No, it's, it's a clown. I know it's a clown. It's a you little one though. You see it? Oh, she's gonna catch baby. him. Come on. Put him right in. What are you doing? Sorry. These clowns do not cooperate. <laughs> Woohoo! We did it! I did it! Got an exotic. But that was on my flat line, wasn't it? Yeah, my flat line. Your idea, though. Nice. Heck yeah. Beautiful clown. This is what people come to catch. Check out this crazy looking fish. 
cloud knife fish, also known as an aquarium fish. Um, that's where people mostly recognize them from is freshwater aquariums. But now they're fully breeding and living here. There's a habitat right here, like I said, in Lake Ida. And they're so wild. Look at this tail. It's like a snake. Like, look at them go back and forth. And that weird peck, that weird um, dorsal fin. It's so pretty cool. They got really no teeth. And he just swallowed that bait. So nice. So let's let him go. Get that bait Good out. job. Nice. Good job. All right, that's actually a smaller clown knife. They get up like to 10 pounds, I think. That might be the uh, record down here. But anyhow, we're gonna release this fish. They're actually really blind. They're not, they can't see very well. But you can see right here, like how their eyes are right on top of their head, you know, right there. So this fish is just pretty wild, pretty cool to catch. They kind of live on the bottom and they kind of jump like tarpon. That one didn't jump, but they also are one of the only fish that can swim backwards, which is pretty cool. Like while you're fighting them on the hook with that crazy tail. All right, let's let him go. You can't see him in the dark water, but he just went straight down. Beautiful. All right. I was playing with Puddin's fish. Now it's time for me to catch one. Let's go. Oh. Hooked up. Crazy. I literally can't even get a bait out. I was just about to put another bait out. And sure, oh, it's a clown. And what did I tell you? On my American chat, Brian was just yelling at me about changing my American chat <laughs> and putting on a live shiner. And I just said I was totally fine. And we just caught a fish, man. Here he comes, jumping like a tarpon. Woo! Oh, did I just hear the other one go off? I just heard something bump, something jump over here, but I don't see any bait, any fish. Where is he? Coming up in this corner. Nice one. Is it bigger? I think he's a little bigger. Mine was tiny. They, I mean, that was a big fish, but for a clown knife, he was small. It's about the same. It's okay. okay, stop. Okay, you're clear? Yeah. You ready? I think so. It's bigger, way bigger. It's not way bigger. It's way bigger. <laughs> I got it. I got a, okay. He's the same exact, he's smaller, I think. No, he's not. It's tiny. No, he's not. It's tiny. All right, so the circle hook got that guy perfectly in the corner. So you can see that you can come here to Lake Ida and catch your own live baits and use those as well. Shiners and American Shag work great. Uh, but obviously the American Shad are going to be the ones that, you know, live here in the local water. So I think the Shiners too. I think there's wild Shiners. So anyhow, circle hooked perfectly in the corner. Ooh, he's got more teeth than the other one. Clown knife fish number two. This is epic. If we were on an inshore freshwater charter, everybody would be so happy right now. Crushing fish. Another, ow! Another nice clown knife. Check that out. That is awesome. Beautiful fish. This is so wild looking at that tail right there, that ribbon tail. Look at him. He thinks yeah. he's in the water right now. There you go. Really cool. And each one has different unique spots on them too. So some you'll find with a couple, some you'll find with a lot, but really cool. And basically what happened was a lot of these fish were released into our freshwater system back when we had a hurricane about 15 years ago and people had them in their aquarium. So they released them into the system and that's how they were able to just spawn and grow and again, have live here in this ecosystem and now they're everywhere. Little like little tiny teeth right there on the top and on the bottom. But they kind of feel by just you know, when the bait swims by them, they'll eat it like that. Because again, I've heard that they have really bad eyesight. Here we go. I think this fish is ready. One, two, three. Oh, cool. That was awesome. Yeah. We drew blood. Nice. And this fish, and this hand is tore up already. And this is from two <laughs> fish. Let's catch some more. You got something else? Did you see it? Your body was blocking it. Oh, I didn't see it. Let's handle those rods. Are fine? These rods are fine. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Here you go. You ready? Kind of. Beautiful clown. He's got cool spots. This is the most you've ever caught so far. The day's just getting started. Yeah. Shad two. Oh my god. Shiner one. Just saying. Woo! See those tail kicks? Hook perfectly. Give him my huge net. Nice. He'll fit perfect. 
The challenge around here is to get him in his baby fit net. He'll fit perfect. He'll fit perfect. Because he's so small? He'll fit perfect. There you go. Perfect. Woohoo! Put him on the deck. Put him on the oh, deck. Put him on the back. On the deck. All right, I had to get tangled, but I'm a googan, and then my line went off, so I got to hand, hand pull him. How'd you get your line tangled? With a crankbait I was casting. Oh, so that's another fish. <laughs> you got a peacock. Hand lining, and he's gone. <laughs> Bit the hook off. <laughs> I should be able to get my line out now from the tangle. <laughs> Bit your hook off. That's what happens when you have five baits out, five shiners out, and then you throw in a crankbait around. You tight or what? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mush off. I think it's a clown. I think. You never know. Light tackle using 12 pound test as my leader. Ooh, I just missed it. I keep looking around and missing the fish. More than likely a clown. It's a catfish. Oh. All right, that's a bad sign. Then you catch one catfish and then you don't get a bite for a while. Then you catch two catfish. It usually tells you it's time to move on. But look at this, check out this catfish right here. He's pretty big. They've seen catfishes before. No, that's like a good eating size. Everybody would be like all over that. Look at that thing. It is. It's a big one. We don't want to eat him in here though. Nah. Nah. We're gonna let him go. All right. Another fish. Nice job though, Sizzle. Yeah, this lake I here, there's a lot of runoff and stuff, so I mean I think we have eaten fish out of here, but it's not the greatest idea. Plenty of places they catch catfish which are better. Like Lake Okeechobee, I guess. But I do want to say about the clown knives, they are an invasive species, which means they're not, you know, they're not native. I'm not sure they're invasive, because to me, invasive means non-native and, and they harm the ecosystem. And as far well, as I know, there's no evidence of that yet. But uh, anyway, we put them back, we don't kill them, because you know, the, the charter captains have a real great industry around here, taking people out for these exotics and, and uh, of course, include the yeah. clown knives, and so you know we support the charter captains and leave them here. And if they have, if they, I'm sorry, says, but if the FWC tells us to kill them, we'll kill them. But they don't. Okay. Yeah, and they're native to like Thailand and like Asia. I think it's like yeah. Southeast Asia or, or Asia or whatever. And, and again, and so everyone's but, gonna say, oh, can you eat them? Can you eat them? Yes, yes, you can eat them. They're very bony. I think we did a catch and cook. People make fish cakes in Thailand. Yeah, you gotta grind them up and make fish cakes because otherwise they're crap. And you know, it just we don't want to eat it. I'm just, I'm not eating anything else just because. You guys want us to eat it anymore. <laughs> I'm just not doing it, sorry. It's edible, but there's a lot of other stuff to eat. It tastes way better. It tastes way better, and you don't have to grind up into mush so you can make a crab cake out of it. So get rid of that catfish. I'm trying. And the peas were actually introduced by the FWC years ago to uh, combat Help. something else, the incredible shad Help population me. or something. I'll look it up and put it right here. Help me. What do you need? Close line tight. Thanks. Stomach. Yeah, while we're going through this episode here, just because the shiners are a little shad, I mean, they're tiny. You want to try and make sure they swim right too. So you're going to use tiny hooks in like six, eight, or 12 pound leader to make them swim right. You know, you come out here with 100 shiners and you got a too heavy leader and your big old hooks, so they're only sitting on the bottom. You're not going to catch any fish just because you have live bait. They got to be swimming. Got okay? It. You got it? Good. Oh. Good job. Saved your hook. He got we, we don't have a ton of those hooks because we don't do a ton of this fishing. Woo! All right, nice. All right, guys, switching it up here. We are now going to start working our way down with the trolling motor, hitting these docks on the way down, pitching docks basically, looking for big fish, using my 12 pound leader, of course, using a little tiny J hook. There's my live shiner. I ran out of shad already. And just hook them through the top of their nose in between like their two little nostril pieces, and that's going to hold them on pretty well. That's kind of how it works. So we got that. I'm using my dad's rod, actually. It's like a two-piece rod. Not really the best rod for dock fishing, but we're going to make it work. Caught a lot of fish on this thing. So here we go. First spot is right here. I have a fish. Yeah, I have a fish. I was like, what the heck is going on there? All right, threw on that corner. <laughs> and I got a feisty little peacock bass. 
Nice. Woo! No, 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 there hasn't been a lot of big peacocks today, but we did have one of our best days clown knife fishing, so can't complain about that. There you go, little pea. Awesome. All right, so just ate that shiner right on the corner of the dock there. Super feisty, as you can see. Sure enough, my dad's lucky rod. And believe it or not, I have now available on the website a lot of sterling silver chains, and I have a largemouth bass pendant. I was looking to catch a largemouth, but I did not today. But this is on the website if you're interested. I don't have peacock bass. I just have largemouth bass, as well as a variety of other saltwater fish too. So check that out if you're interested in getting your own sterling silver chain from my website store. I'll link that information down below, but pretty cool, it kind of matches. Kind of, but not really. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We have other, all kinds of other pendants, right? Yes, yeah, sorry, like redfish <laughs> and Brian will put a, put a thing here. Yeah, Florida yeah. lobster, redfish, octopus, anchors. Dolphin, mahi mahi, all kinds of good stuff. Snook. Sea turtle, snook. Yeah. The list goes on. What's and the on. best seller? Uh, redfish and the sea turtles. And sailfish lately, too. Oh. Uh, can I have the pliers? Yes. Thank you. We got that out. Look how pretty that one is with all the oranges all lit up. That's a female. The females have a flatter head, they don't have a big head. But let's let this fish go head first. All right. So you guys, guys might have seen right here in the clip on the deck we've got my fishing my bow left hand retrieved because i'm left-handed and i've been seeing some big tilapia down this particular canal so we are going to switch from fishing because none of the big peacocks are back here and i think it's just too hot literally it's 90 degrees it's bath water and we're going to switch to shooting some tilapia which is another highly invasive species and once i get one i'll tell you why oh Finally, I don't know if Brian's gonna show all my blooper reels, but I missed a lot of fish. I don't have, I, this video's not gonna, it'll be too long. Hey, that's mean. <laughs> that's so mean. He might just do like a really quick collage with like boom, 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 boom. Like I must've shot a dozen times and missed every single time. It's also been a minute since I pulled out the bow, but I finally just got a nice shot on this fish in deep water and what I'm doing is in order to see the fish in this dirty water, I'm using my green Revo sunglasses so I can see into the water. They're polarized. Uh, we want to see the fish. So I'm just, people ask me that all the time, how do you see the fish? So that's how I do it with the polarized lenses. But here we go. Here's the invasive tilapia. What a nice one. We got him. He was pretty deep too. So there's so many of these guys around. Oh my gosh, he just pooped on my boat. Thanks a lot, dude. Uh, these are all throughout Florida, South Florida and Central Florida, um, up in the, what's the name of that river up there? Um, St. John's? St. John's River. So they're everywhere, basically, I'm getting blood all over the boat, but basically these fish are not from here. They're originally like from China or Asia or Thailand, I believe. I'm not 100% on that, I forgot. But basically they suck all the oxygen out of the water and the other fish, can't breathe. Also, they when they make their nest on the side and stuff, they end up uh, like covering because they make these huge burrows in the sand and dig out, you know, with their tails and their fins and stuff, dig out a hole for their nest. But they end up covering like bass eggs and you know uh, peacock bass eggs in this area. And it's just they're highly invasive. They're not, we don't want them here. They're delicious to eat as well. Uh, a lot of people will tell us the farm raised ones are not that good but like a wild tilapia is delicious. Again, I'm not gonna eat, probably eat this guy from this canal, but like up in the St. John's, and if you guys watched our video a couple months ago, we did some boat fishing up there and ate some real wild, fresh tilapia. So they're really good. Um, you can definitely eat this fish. I'm more than likely not. I'm going to save it for crab trap bait. There you go. So we're doing everything today, guys. We're doing the fishing, a little bit of bow fishing too. We're showing you everything like Ida has to offer. Nice, another invasive species down. Trying to feed this bird, but he's staying far away. Hey! He was here this morning. I gave him a couple live baits out of my live well, and then now I'm hooking him up with some dead ones. I always like the herons, they're so cool. And this guy's a local, apparently. But we had a great day fishing, man. We slayed the fish. Yeah, no sizzle. You know, uh, we just came out, you know, they got the storm coming. What's the name of the storm? I don't even know. 
Uh, Fred. But, yeah, but Fred, but, so it's like coming today. <laughs> yeah, it's approaching, and so it's getting windier, and it's just going to be a rainy mess. It's not really a tropical storm or a hurricane at the moment. Yeah, so we figured we squeeze in some fishing, and uh, and I just want to, you know, brag about my girlfriend again. You know, Darcy and I were just saying, you know, I don't know how many folks come out here, you know, we did, what did we do? What was the last video? Huge snook, tilefish, clownfish. And, Rainbow runners. And, and, yeah, I mean, all just in a row. I mean, she really kills it, you know. We uh, did really well. I don't I don't care. I'm a boyfriend. I can say she's the best in the whole wide world, so. We also have days where you don't catch any fish, but yes, lately we've been crushing it, so right. team effort. Oh. oh. Where's our land shark? Uh, oh, we don't have one. We have to go it's home. Five, it's five o'clock somewhere. We go home and yeah. have a land shark, and uh, I guess that's it. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. We hope you enjoyed. Drop any questions down below. Links are down below as well. Don't forget about the big giveaway going on. And until the our next adventure. The giveaway hair club giveaway. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'll yeah, put sorry. it right here. Hair club giveaway. <laughs> until our next adventure, follow, follow your, your dreams, dreams and keep, keep on, on catching. Catcher. I'm going to give him a couple more. He looks so skinny. I'm fat. You keep feeding me. Oh, I feed you plenty. <laughs>